When I'm getting ready for a race, there's a lot to prepare for. I have enough to worry about. But I never worry about my oil. My sled's ready. Is yours? I'm Robbie Malinowski, professional snowcross racer for Team Amsla. Looking good, bud. Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson. And up next, we're going to meet a superstar of this sport. He's a guy with an amazingly huge personality. He's as humble as can be, and he's a personal friend of mine. I'm talking about ISOC fan favorite, Mr. Levi LaValle. We had the chance recently to meet up with Levi at his home in northern Minnesota. And here's a glimpse of what life is like for Levi outside the racetrack. He's one of the best known snowcross racers in all the land and one of the most recognized in the sport as well. We're talking about Levi LaValle, one of the world's greatest snowcross racers. Levi's been loyal to Polaris snowmobiles for years. Even though Launch and Levi's become a brand name in the sport, he still likes to keep it real. Levi's home base is a small town in Northern Minnesota, quite a contrast to the frenzy of his snowcross lifestyle. We caught up with Levi as he was preparing for this season's Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Uh, we're really excited about this year. You know, we uh, we signed Bobby LePage to be another pro rider with our team. So we'll have myself and Bobby in the trailer. And gosh, you know, we're really excited. He had a heck of a year out east racing and you know he's just got such a good attitude the whole team is really excited about that we made some made some changes with some things and gosh you know it's just uh it's it's gonna be good getting back on the snow levi's always been a showman and last year he won the fan favorite award as voted by the fans of isoc i got this fan favorite thing figured out you do tricks crash a lot and high five kids and you get voted for so while training and working on sleds, Levi keeps a little extra motivation nearby. There's, I mean, these are, this is kind of like memory lane here. There's some stuff from when I won the medals, and then there's my hometown, Longville. They did this, uh, they had Levi Day. They actually have my own day, January, what is it? It's like January 31st or something is Levi Day in Longville. And uh, there's actually some other funny things. The, those pants there are from when I got my thumb throttle stuck in my thigh. You can see obviously I was bleeding fairly well. <laughs> they reached in and pulled my plastic throttle out of my thigh, which was a story not too many can say. <laughs> so this sled here is the one that I did the double flip on. It was I, I practiced with it, did all the practice sessions with it. They rebuilt it, freshened it all up, and then we took the X Games and that's the one th that I tried the double backflip at X Games with. So this one has a, a really special place in my heart just because we went through an, an emotional roller coaster <laughs> figuring that double flip out and then taking it out to X Games and trying something that no one in the world has ever tried. And uh, so it's this one means a lot to me. And then uh, this one here above is the first year I started doing freestyle. So the thing was built like Two weeks before X Games, I went out there, used it for the two events, and I won gold in both of them and athlete of the X Games. So I was like, heck yeah, we gotta keep that one. That's definitely a trophy. All right, so the, the sleds up here are my race sleds. These ones are special to me. The, the one on the right there is the sled I won my first national snowcross race on. And then the one on the left is really big for me. It's the one that I won my first championship in 09 in. Uh, and I mean, a championship in snowcross is, that's like everyone's goal. You know, as you grow up, you know, anytime, once you start racing snowmobiles, the whole goal is to eventually become pro and win a pro championship, you know, and in the Premier Series, in the ISOC Series. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to do that. And it, it's just like everything that I worked for, for years and years and years, all the training, all the injuries, all the, all the misfortune that you have, it instantly they're all worth it once you win that championship i mean it's like the it's like i did it 
that's that's the goal and uh, it's it's pretty cool I mean I'm like grinning right now I'm like inside I'm like burning up I'm so excited about just talking about that championship so that sled means means the world to me the first race of the season is on the way the Amsoil Duluth National will be Levi's first test and he's more than ready once you get to the big show and you, you know you're out there in the lights and you got the fans there and stuff you're like all right, all right, and then once you get done with practice, then it all starts coming back to you. First heat race, still a little nervous. You get that one under your belt, and then it's, you know, then you're back to where you were, and you're like, all right, get your game face on, now let's get this done. We got a job to do. Levi is number one with the fans, and only time will tell if Levi will launch himself to number one with the racers on the track as well. Don't you just love Levi? Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. All right, you guys, well, get ready because the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series is coming up soon. ISOC is back in Duluth in just a few weeks for the Snowcross season opener. It's right after Thanksgiving, November 26th through the 28th. We've got some great races ahead, including stops in Fargo, Utah, New York, Hayward, Minneapolis, and of course, it all wraps up at the grand finale in Lake Geneva. There's even an indoor event at the Silver Dome in Detroit. So awesome, racing indoors. You just can't beat that. So for the complete racing lineup and for more information, log on to our website at sledhead24-7.com and isockracing.com. Stay right where you are, as I say in Swedish, vi kommer strax tillbaka kompisar. We'll be right back. It's a gearhead alert. When we return, we'll share the latest news from the crew at Speedworks. And later, we'll flash back to the early days of the sport, check out the evolution of snow machines, and meet the folks brave enough to invent freestyle. <laughs> 